probably one of the most trickiest things uh, you know that you would need to handle um, as far as uh, developing modern UI based uh, applications. So those were some of the guiding principles. Um, you know, let's look at some of the key learnings uh, that we have had <clears throat> and some of the key changes that we uh, would need to make when you're developing modern UI applications. So first, foremost, less is more, right? We need to create applications that are, uh, you know, that are focused at doing uh, just those things that are that they are supposed to be doing best at instead of having rich monolithic uh, applications all in one kind of applications. Um, think of contracts, think of, uh, you know, think of contracts, think how you can collaborate uh, between applications, how you can, uh, you know, share data between applications. Think of various activation points uh, in your applications uh, as to, you know, in what all scenarios can your application get activated. Uh, we saw protocol activation, we saw search based activation, we saw share based activation. So as architects we need to think about these various activation points. Uh, think about reusing existing applications to create powerful mashup scenarios. Uh, there are, and, and you don't have to reuse the applications that you have built. You can reuse applications that are provided by other people as well as we saw in the example of mail using the mail application and the finance application. Uh, there is a lot of focus on standards and guidelines as we just saw that you know there is focus on commanding guidelines, navigation guidelines. So keep those standards and guidelines in mind so that you have, you create applications which have a consistent user experience and are consistent in look and feel. Uh, think about use cases and surface those use cases that make sense to be, um, to be on, on multiple form factor devices. Uh, bring up those use cases and uh, and act upon those use cases accordingly. And last but not the least, uh, be cognizant about the fact that application life cycle model is different for modern UI based applications than traditional versus traditional Win32 or Win64 based applications. So be cognizant about the fact that your application can uh, you know get terminated by the OS, you need to persist your state, persist data and retrieve the state appropriately when the application launches uh, the next time. Uh, the entire operation is transparent to the user, the he, he or she would not get to know what's happening. But as an application architect, you would need to handle these kind of scenarios. So with this, uh, uh, I'll pretty much wrap up the session and uh, open